Um, we want to talk for, for a minute about something we're calling time critical management, right? So for a long time, for, uh, for the last 20 years, we've been kind of dealing in the, what I would call the persistent management world, right? Which this is the ability to do policy-based uh, management of your computers, right? It's, it it uh, applies to maintenance windows, it works with the agent, the agent checks back in, it updates, and it's a really good way to manage and make sure those machines out there are managed in an efficient way. Um, that's still very valid today. But in today's ever-increasing world of, of targeted threats, right, and really, uh, you know, white-hot threats that are coming out, you need to, in some cases, have the ability to go out there and do a real-time scan of your environment. So we're announcing in version 8.5 the ability to do time-critical management, which adds real-time functionality into the product. So you'll see this here in just a minute, but this allows you to quickly go out there and query your endpoints and find out something that maybe was not in the database, right? Or maybe it didn't check in for the last couple of days. So let's actually take, if you're anything like me, I like to look at the product, right? So let's actually take a look at the demo and let me show you kind of what we're looking at here in terms of time critical management. So the first thing you're gonna see is this looks a little different. If some of you are familiar with the interface, this looks a little different, right? So this is it's a modern HTML5 built interface, purpose built for time critical management to allow us to get in and do that real time management. So let's assume for just a minute that I've got a vulnerability that comes out for Office 2013. Could be anything, right? Any package. Um, but what I want to do is I want to find out first what's in my environment, so what machines are actually out there, and then let's find out which machines maybe haven't checked in in a certain amount of time frame, and I want to update those. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is, is go ahead and type out you know, Office Pro 2013 and do a search for those systems within my environment, right? So I'm gonna get that, uh, that detail and find out what, what machines are out there and bring that back and I can actually, once I've done that, that's gonna bring the CMDB information back and show me, here are the Windows 10 systems in this case that have Office Pro 2013 installed. Now down at the bottom, you can see that I've got some inventory for some endpoints that are, that are a certain amount of time out of date. Now I could change it, right? In this case, I'm seeing, okay, here's all my 2013 machines. And then you can see I've got four endpoints and this could be thousands, right? This is just on my demo gear. Um, it's showing you how many machines are out of date, right? So what I can do is I can actually update those machines to, to make sure that we do get the real-time inventory. Now, traditionally that might take some time. So what I wanna do here is once I see that, um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I can either scope that down to, you know, if I want to say, go show me all Windows systems or all resources, but in this case, I'm just going to keep it scoped to everything that's out there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and, and run an update for inventory on those machines. Now, anybody that's familiar with the software knows that this would traditionally take a little bit of time to do. And I'm going to go ahead and show you right in front of your face how fast this will happen. I haven't sped this up or slowed it down. So I'm going to run a, a real-time inventory scan on those systems. And what it's going to do is go out there, contact these machines that, again, I don't know because they haven't checked in, in a certain amount of time, and pull back and show me which ones in this case have 2013, it's gonna do a full inventory scan, but I'm most interested in 2013. So it's almost done. So in less than 30 seconds, it went out, contacted those machines, brought that information back, and now adds that into the CMDB. So I can now see that, okay, it did, did, did succeed on running inventory for those, those particular machines. And in this case, even though I did the update, you know, I can, only see, I can still see that there's only one machine, which is okay, right? Now I know that all the machines that are out there for the, the, the time period I care about, I know all the machines that are out there. Now what you can do from here is actually take an action on that as well, right? So once I've got my group built, I wanna do something about it, right? I can save it as a target, I can update the inventory, uh, things of that nature. In this particular instance, what I wanna do, because I know there's a vulnerability, I wanna run a task against these systems. So I'm gonna come in here and I've already got a task set up and assigned to deploy a, an Office 2013 patch out to these systems. So I'll go ahead and, and select that, uh, search for that here. Um, that will come up automatically. And then I'm gonna run that task out on these systems. So just by selecting it here, um, you can see, I'll go ahead and, and click to run the task and that will run it out there on this one endpoint. So I've just done not only a search inside my CMDB, I found out all those machines that are out there, updated the inventory for the ones that I didn't know what was happening with, and I ran a task out there to alleviate or remediate that particular situation on this machine. Um, there's also a lot of other actions you can take. So one of the other things you can do that I'll show in final here is you could email the results, right? So if you wanted to actually let your you know, CISO or your security team know, hey, 
I've, uh, you know, I, I've done this, right? So be aware of it. It's happened out there. I can do that as well. So there's a number of different options that you can take there. Okay, so that shows you kind of an end-to-end -end what real-time management and look for more and more information as, as we go forward uh, coming up about this. To learn more, visit go.symantec.com forward slash manage.